Let me start by saying that I'm more than happy to be here in uh, Zagreb, together with uh, my good friend, the Minister of the Interior, uh, Davor Bozinovic. And uh, as you know, just some minutes ago, I had a meeting with uh, the Prime Minister uh, of Croatia, Mr. Andrei Plenkovic, and the Minister of, of Justice. I know that uh, this is a great moment for Croatia, after I confirmed yesterday that Croatia has taken the measures needed to meet the conditions necessary to apply the Schengen rules in full. Croatia is now on its way to joining the Schengen area of free movement. This is a positive result, and uh, I would like to commend Croatia for its efforts and perseverance over the past four years. As I stressed yesterday in Strasbourg during the press conference, Croatia will need to continue working consistently on all ongoing actions in the field of external borders management to ensure that these conditions continue to be met. Croatia should uh, notably maintain a high level of border surveillance at uh, its external borders, in particular the borders with uh, Bosnia-Herzegovina. This is an important point, and I have assured Prime Minister Plankovic and uh, Minister Bozinovic that we will continue to work closely with Croatia to make sure this ongoing work continues to deliver results. Yesterday, I also confirmed that Croatia continues to fulfill the commitments it took when joining the European Union, which were relevant to the Schengen rules. It is now, as you all know, for the Council to decide on Croatia's entry into the Schengen area of free movement. I hope, I really hope that Member States will uh, take the right steps for Croatia to become a full Schengen member soon, as I hope the same both from Bulgaria and Romania. The Schengen area, as you know, is the largest free travel area in the world, and it is one of the greatest and most tangible achievements of European integration. We cannot imagine Europe without Schengen. Thanks to Schengen, Today, more than 400 million European citizens can move freely between countries without having to go through controls at the borders. I hope that uh, the citizens of Croatia will soon be able to enjoy these benefits in full. But this is not just about uh, freedoms and privileges. This is equally about responsibilities and about increasing our collective security. The accession of Croatia, but also of Bulgaria and Romania, is all the more relevant and needed today, given the migratory and security challenges that we all face. The strength of Schengen very much depends on its inclusiveness. With the uh, Croatia joining Schengen, we would be even better equipped to face, to address these challenges, and Croatia would contribute to further strengthening the Schengen area and ensure that the European Union's external borders are better managed and, most importantly, better protected. It is only by being united and studying together that we can ensure a stronger Schengen area and a safer Europe for our citizens.